I cannot appreciate the silence right now because I had just played two games where there was this guy who was rather toxic, by the way, who also basically had his mic next to the fucking keyboard. So, do you know the definition of ladder anxiety? This is Rainbow Six Siege Solo Cube. And I don't know why I just haven't just found a team to play with. I, I find people to play with. Um, I had a guy named Kubusta who I played with for quite some time, but then I drifted away from Siege and he drifted away from Siege because I was playing Ghost War. And he hasn't really returned from player unknown battlegrounds yet. At any rate, so. Ladder anxiety, if you are into siege like I am, and you end up wanting to be good at it, then you're gonna feel anxiety about entering the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. Entering the game. And I do. Especially when it's going poorly for me. I mean I've been having a quite an annoying slump for the past few days that took me out of gold and I don't like that because as long as I'm gold I can at least feel that yeah that's where I belong because I can keep my own up to gold uh, when I'm coming to high gold then I'm struggling so I've come to terms with pretty much where my optimal Where my optimal level in the game actually is. And that is gold. We can reinforce here. But it also means that I don't play as often as I like. I mean, a game that I feel relaxed about is a game I can play often. And if I don't feel relaxed playing it, then I feel I force myself to be in optimal shape playing it, and when I'm not in optimal shape to play it, then I feel guilty. You you get the drill. So, we're gonna stop talking about the definition of ladder anxiety for a sec, and we are instead going to focus on this game. Road the Copper. I mean, he it's not even Road to Copper. Uh... If Road the Copper is so fucking hilarious that I might take Capcom for a smurf. It wouldn't surprise me, at least, to know that he's a smurf. Oh, Ella gets the kills because she is in a good spot. Oh, fuck, compromise more enemy drones. Right now, it doesn't really... Oh, crap, I fell down. I didn't actually mean to fall down either. Prevent further access ah, to the crap. Securing the biohazard container. Securing the biohazard container. Prevent further access to the biohazard container. We're gonna take the rain. Op four remaining. They know I'm here. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. Ella got uh, Ash, but we did some to help at least. And we didn't die. So not dying and winning the round. That's two out of that's two for two in my book. So let's see here. Let's go for valleys. Start out in the valley. <clears throat> Find the biohazard container location. What the hell is the other team doing? I mean, are they really demanding that? One of their guys is not gonna talk. I mean, my team doesn't talk. 
and I hate that. I want my team to communicate. Right now, we don't seem to actually need that, but right now uh, we are making do. And if it's if we don't die due to lack of communication, I can live with it. I can live with a silent team when if we do not communicate. Capcan is camping by that window, tag. But sometimes you you need to communicate, and that's pretty much what I just did, calling out where Capcan was, but he was by that window. Do not attempt to board the helicopter, people. I mean, do not try to board the helicopter. Boarding the helicopter is bad for your health. I'm gonna drone here, and the reason I'm doing this long way is because I don't want to get shot. Capcan and Caviera are guarding the objective with bandit. Okay, mid. Uh, so I'm gonna need Twitch to destroy the bandit thingies if uh, you want me to breach the wall. Ah, crap. Call me in the location. Breaching, breaching. I could have sworn there were bandit stuff right there. Lost black. Ah, crap. I didn't even know that I could do that. Seriously, that was the most aggressive play I have ever done. Oh, come on. That's good. Come on. Come at me, bros. <laughs> oh, I so fucking deserve that. I so fucking deserved that. Oh, I can't say I ever have deserved getting killed more than at that fucking... Stop securing the container. Ah, crap. Okay, so it's one versus one. We got a Doc. And we got a Dokibi. So it's Doc versus Doc, technically. But he, he got the logic bomb, so he can actually... Uh, this, why can't I switch to the cameras? I should be able to switch to, uh, to his hacked cameras, but... Left. Yeah, you need to be inside the room, please. It was a nice try. But seriously! I mean, Doc didn't even see him! <laughs> Very weird game, but I, I, it was nice. I mean, it made me smile. It made me. <sighs> oh, chat is nice. I mean, a play like that, because you know that's going on Twitter, uh, can really turn turn your opinion off. A game. I mean, the game can be... Barricade the room. So... We need to protect the biohazard container. Armor's down, pick it up. I'll go upstairs and defend the hatches. Ah, uh, or Ella might want to do that.
I'm gonna hang around here with Ella. Didn't Ella do the hatch? No, Ella opened the hatch. We'll have a different angle of attack and we'll have this death. Ah, crap, they're going by the window. At least I think they are. Yeah, I'm dead, because I failed to look out properly. Oh, and it was, it was so fucking... I mistook Echo's drone to be... to be, um... Nice. I mistook Echo's drone uh, to be the, you know, actual player. Protect the biohazard container. Op 4 is securing the ah, biohazard crap, container. not good. Intervene immediately. They've ceased attempting to secure the container. Mission failed. All friendlies have been neutralized. Now, I can't judge Ella for what she did, but had I been Ella, I would never have jumped down in that situation. There's no way I would have jumped down. Because jumping down in that situation is losing your only cover. And I would argue that the other players were still visible. From on high. But hey, the way I died, I can't really complain. So, all we can do about it is wait and see how the next... <laughs> I mean, at least these guys seems Find to be... Oh, God. And, of course, they had to get a Jew joke in there. Fuck that. I'm really not keen on all these okay, people guys. thinking that you can... Yeah. Thinking that's such... Shit, it's funny. Because it simply ain't. And when I say not funny, I mean that there are jokes that serve no other purpose than to make... than simply to spread misconceptions and the sheer concept that it's okay to make fun of people a certain way and then gaming's gaming's obsession with jew jokes seems to come oh god seems to come straight from pretty much the alt-right playbook the only f reason i can say it's not a uh, alt-right campaign or something like that is because it predates it uh, Bandit did a really nice play here, because Bandit knows that what Bandit just did was to pretty much uh, make me, mine, and Twitch's approach very careful. Yeah, he's in, he's in his death. We are not hanging around here. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, bandit. The problem is that we still need to try and breach that shit. 
please tell me you got bandits. Breaching, breaching. Yeah, they got bandits. Fuck. Ah! Caviar on me! Caviar on me! Thank you. Sorry. Don't worry about it. I have it in chance. One friendly operator remaining. Oh, it would be nice if Frost got killed from that. Oh, come on! I mean, look at this. <sighs> we can only hope we manage to defend better this round. I mean, this is also a game where, that can be frustrating for the reason that I know we can take these guys. Uh, I'm not saying they're they're easy, but I'm saying we can take them, and we don't. Oh crap! <laughs> That's free wasted because I was about to team kill with one, uh, rather team hurt with one. Uh, we don't have anyone who can deny a breach of the reinforced wall. That's not good. Uh, we At least we have Nasty who can be a decent roamer, so... Do watch the hole in the floor, lads. That hole can actually be adequately used in order to perform a flanking maneuver, so... Oh, crap! And we both... I mean, me and Asian are really sinking it here. Because we are doing the exact same things. Nice. We're doing the exact same things at the same time. Nice. Well played. Thank you. Are they up the stairs? Yes, yes. Glass in generator. I'll finish the job then. Okay. Nice. For my last guy. He's breaching. Oh, nice. Well played. Oh. I don't really know what happened there, but that match. That kill cam was a bit different. As you notice, I'm playing with uh, Might and Rook, and I usually do that when I get the impression that the team will not uh, choose those operators or choose similar operators. Uh, I do consider Rook and Fermite my mains.
Uh, but I also Find the biohazard container location. do enjoy when I can play other operators. Oh! Nice. Well done. Biohazard container located. If Fuse can go from... If Fuse can go from above and... Fuse the bandit stuff, then I will be very, very happy. And I spawned in the wrong place. Oh, Twitch had already cleared out that camera. But I need to run now. To get into the proper position. Good job. Breaching, breaching, breaching. Claymore down. Fuse if you like, you could uh, fuse them from above. And I'm dead. At least I hit the guy, but... Yeah, I hit the guy, so... But... Ah, crap. At least Fuse got value for his grenade. And finished off Capcan. Hello. Ellis on ground floor, engaged with IQ. I don't know what Twitch is doing, but Twitch needs to get in there. I mean, right, like, right now. And they need to spread it. Nice. Good luck. Hostile activity. Resume securing the container once the threat is neutralized. Ah! Eliminated all friendly. So fucking close. So fucking close. <sighs> and this is why I have ladder anxiety. Because even when stuff goes moderately well, this happens. It doesn't really matter that I'm second second best in my team. All that matters is that regardless if I'm playing well or if I'm not playing well, uh, I will be deranked by defeat. And if you, like me, have... Let's see here. I don't know if I still have that, but... Well, uh, that's weird. Uh, earlier, you could actually check your kill death radio and stuff like that here, but the point is, I have a kill death radio of about 1.0, and I have a kill death radio. Uh, I have a win rate, win rate of 1.0. That means that it is impossible for me to advance. Uh, the problem is that it's also impossible for me to recuperate when I lose, especially if I play a couple of games and I lose badly. In a way, I, I oh, nice. Uh, 
I prefer uh, Ghost War's way of doing it. Ghost War have a system where... Let's see. Yeah, we'll take the AR. Ghost War have a system that is based around that it's not the match that matters. It's the rounds. So, you know that if you tie up the rounds, say, 3-2, then you will get points for 3 losses and 2 wins. Container. Except... Uh, so, if you win and the game is even, you get points for that. So in in terms of ranking, it's like you only lost one. Rainbow Six Siege should have a similar system. Because that would make it far more lenient in terms of close losses. And I feel that if a game is very even, then the ranking system has done its job. Then you have two. Then you have two players, uh, or rather two teams of players, who, yeah. I'm gonna stop talking right now because I want to focus on the game, and I can't talk about something else and play at the same time. That's a proven. So, question is, do we breach through the... I, I would like to re breach through the garage, actually. I mean, I picked Thatcher for that to be... So it would be a thing, basically. Clear. Or rather, clear so far. Garage, one tango. I didn't even see who it was in Garage. All we did was exchange fire. Corner! Garage corner! Fuck, I should have realized that's where, where he was going. I mean, it, it, it was a nice play. Uh, especially since it's paid off for them. And here is, by the way, where Ladder Anxiety kicks back in. When you realize that during the first game, you the enemy is doing well and the pressure is on. Swapping mags. Talk. have been eliminated. It would be really sad now if I got demoted due to me playing two games in solo queue instead of hanging around friends, but... Not sure if I should pick Rook, really. I want to do something different, so we'll we'll go with Valkyrie and hope that we are as good, better at defense than. Reinforced. 
So we're going Valkyrie, and sorry, I zoned out there for a moment. Thing is, I don't really know what to say, so if I don't know what to say, I'm not saying anything. Okay, so where do they come? Oh, uh, Lesion is imitating the same tactic about hiding in garage. To be fair... Oh, Road the Copper is on the enemy team. Nice. If you can't remember, we actually played with that guy. Uh, last round. Call on, running through our trip. So that's what you're up to. Throw away all the cameras. It, it, had, it has been hacked. Roger. Compromised. If they know I'm up here, they might be very keen on knowing that I come by the stairs. Yeah, I think it's down for time for us to climb down. Thermite is down. Ah, crap. Missed him. I don't know where the other guy was going, but... I need to... Ah, crap. We are going this way to see if we can flank, flank them by the garage. Tango down, glass. Tango down. We actually did rather well there. I mean, that was basically just a spray and spray, but we did, we nice got job. we got a nice, a pretty nice out of that. I mean, it was a very aggressive play. Let's see, compensator, vertical grip, breach charge, nice. <sighs> At some point, they're gonna be in the garage. Locate the biohazard container. So, mood restored. I played a nice round, and... Uh, and I realized I'm not up for that much talking, really. Interesting, they haven't actually picked garage and they can't be in server. They defend the server, so the biohazard container has been located. That's a bit of an odd pick. Or not really that much of an odd pick. But between glass, ying and fuse, I would say we have the operators needed to actually do a decent job with it. Let me fuse in. Balcony. We need to leg it now. We are gonna repel and...
They are playing very aggressive this round. Can't really blame them for it, cause it works. Especially against badly coordinated team, playing aggressive is usual. Valkyrie's down. I knew no. she. I knew she was gonna. Con yeah, but if you can't really blame me because it was too late, can you? Let's just put one more round in there, just to be safe. Oh, come on! I was well out of range there. Never mind the fact that he, for some reason, knew exactly where I was, but never mind that. <coughs> Lesion is in the back room, or at least was when I last checked. I think I've found a problem with this team. They're not aggressive enough. And not aggressive enough is not a good thing right now. Because this team we are facing requires... T they play aggressive as well. But that's... Oh, that's gotta be humiliating. I, ha I have actually never seen someone get killed by a Lassian mine. I think it, it might have actually happened to me once or something like that. But it gotta be humiliating. Not sure I'm gonna pick Valkyrie again. I might actually pick Cavera. I mean, so I can... No. I mean, why not? I mean, if we can pick... The OP operator, why not? Barricade the room. We need to protect the biohazard container. All right, so barbed wire in stairs. Barbed wire there. Ten seconds. Barbed wire there. Five seconds and counting. And there we go. Four drone has located the biohazard container. Let's clear out the sight lines. Ah, crap, they are actually barricaded that area as well. There was a drone here earlier. We need to find it and kill it. We need to leg it very, very quickly now. The entire ID is basically engaged the stairs from behind. Oh, they know I'm here. Or they suspect. Crap. Stop the hostiles. Not good. 
They can't spare a guy just to watch this, watch this place. Protect the biohazard container. Ah, crap. I knew there was someone close by, uh, but I didn't think I would get killed from behind by Thatcher. One friendly remaining. Thatcher should still be in the staircase. Come on, you can do this, man. I think one was behind. Hinter, er war einer war hinter dem, glaube ich, auf der großen Treppe. Op 4 is securing the biohazard container. Ah, crap. Not good. Prevent further access to the bio biohazard container. Well played. Come on, you can do this, lad. You can do this. It's a distraction. Ten seconds to go. Ah! Mission failed. All so fucking infuriating. Nice try, mate. Can't even say anything about Thatcher because Thatcher executed that perfectly. Let's refill the caffeine and see if we can't turn this around. <sighs> I've been picking Thatcher because I th thought they would be in Garage for pretty much every game up until this point. And they are running out of places to be, so either I'm picking another round of Thatcher in a place where... Ah, never mind that. Let's just go. I'm going to willing. We don't have a thermite. Good work. The biohazard container has been located. We don't have a thermite. Please, dear God. We don't have a thermite. I mean, it doesn't matter if they are muting it. It doesn't matter. I'm playing Thatcher. We don't have a Fermite because I didn't pick Fermite. Because up until this point, someone else have actually been picking Fermite. Well, they don't know we have a Fermite, so... Now they're just fucking with us. At this point, I would be happy to just stand on the roof. Doing nothing else but stand on the roof. I mean... I don't even know if we can recover from that. It was a nice Tachanka play, sure, but... We are doing this. Swapping mag! Activating drone. We are not surrendering. I don't care what happens, we do not surrender. Ah, crap. They are gonna have to come to me. Op 
eliminated all friendlies. At least I got hits on him, but he didn't come from an angle I expected. And I opened fire far too soon. And again, five kills. One of the best on our team. What is my reward going to be for being second best on the team? This has not been a good weekend for Rainbow Six Siege for me. So, when I asked, what is the definition of ladder anxiety? There can be an answer that's summed up in two words. Those two words are this shit. <laughs> 